I just finished a golf lesson. <laughs> this is crazy. We literally added 15 yards to a seven iron in a matter of 10 swings. I'm gonna share with you what I told them because I guarantee you it's probably gonna help you as well. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, director of instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I just finished up my lesson here with Bill and uh, Bill plays about once a week and he came in and he said, Todd, I hit my seven iron about 125 yards. I got no club head speed, no distance, and the game is no fun. And I said, well, I think I might be able to help you out. Let me show you exactly what we did. So here's what happened. Bill came in and I want to show you, because this is probably you. If you're struggling with distance, especially as you're getting a little bit older, if you're not hitting the golf ball as far as you used to do, I'm going to share with you what I did here with Bill because I think it might help you. So here's what happened. Bill came in and he's hitting seven irons and this is what his swing looked like. Okay, he had pretty good setup, pretty solid grip. You know, he'd been playing golf for a while, but his back swing, okay, looked exactly like this. It was really low and inside early. So his hands went low and inside, and he hit the ball pretty solid, but his swing was very short. And this is a common thing I see with a lot of uh, golfers, especially as they get a little bit older, their swing gets shorter. One is because they lack mobility and, and, and the ability to rotate and turn. But also, a lot of golfers are told in their backswing, because it's kind of a popular trend right now, is to get the hands low and deep and behind them. All right? Maybe you've heard that term before. So they get their hands low and they get them deep. What the problem is with that, and you can see this from face on, is that for older golfers who lack mobility and the function to rotate, that their hands, when they get low, they can't get a very long golf swing. And one of the easiest ways to hit the golf ball further is to get a little bit longer backswing. So what did Bill and I do? Pretty simple. I said, all right, when you're set up, and I'm going to show you the drill I gave him. When you're set up there, I want you to feel like your lead arm just swings straight back and more up. So I have straight back and more up. And immediately, took the club straight back, went more up, and immediately he hit like three balls. He's like, wow. And we got distancing almost automatically. And he said, that feels freer, more relaxed. Now, when you're swinging the golf club, and this is, this is why this is an important drill for a lot of golfers and an important feel, is that when you take your lead arm and you just swing it here, okay, you'll feel more relaxed, you'll feel more freedom. And when you add a little bit of turn to it, and then boom, the club goes straight up. So Here's what I want to show you to do, and here's what I want you to do next time you head to the golf course. And if you haven't done this already, hey, do me a favor, subscribe to our channel here at US Golf TV, uh, ring the bell, because you, then you're going to know when we got new content coming out. I don't care if it's short game and bunkers or driving or whatever, be sure to check that out and be sure to leave a comment because I love, love hearing from you. Now, so next time you head to the golf course, what you're going to do is when you're set in there, I want you to let go of the club, let your arm just kind of relax here. Take your right hand, if you're a right hand golfer, put it on your thigh and take your lead arm and I want you to just feel the freedom. Let your arm relax and literally just let it swing back and through. Feel the shoulder soften, okay, all right, now you can add a little bit of hip turn to it, back and through. I actually like to call this the vertical line swing. We've developed a whole program around this because it's helped so many of my students and after you've done that a few times, go ahead and get set in there and just boom rehearse that and you can see it's going to pop up right away now if you like some of these tips we're talking about check out our website usgolftv.com that's where we got all kinds of other stuff on there articles and different videos if you subscribe to our email list you get free content all the time and you're going to see some progress much like i did here today with bill so here's the tip when you head to the golf course you want to add distance to your irons you've got to have some freedom to your swing so you get set in there let it swing back and through a little bit, three or four times. Feel the relaxation, the freedom. Add your hand back on there and grip the club. Boom, swing it straight back and straight through. And if you do that, I guarantee you in 10 balls, you'll probably also add 15 yards to your irons.